What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is a dietary pattern that involves alternating cycles of fasting and eating. This pattern of eating does not specify what foods to eat, but rather when to eat them. There are several different methods of intermittent fasting, but the most common ones are Time-restricted feeding. This involves limiting the daily eating window to a specific number of hours, such as 8 hours, and fasting for the remaining 16 hours of the day. Alternate day fasting. This involves alternating between a day of normal calorie intake and a day of reduced calorie intake, usually 500 to 600 calories. 5 to 2 diet. This involves eating normally for 5 days of the week and restricting calorie intake to 500 to 600 calories for 2 non-consecutive days of the week. What are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting has been studied for its potential health benefits, some of which include weight loss. Intermittent fasting can help reduce calorie intake, which may lead to weight loss. Improved insulin sensitivity. Intermittent fasting may improve insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control, which can help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Reduced inflammation. Intermittent fasting may help reduce inflammation in the body, which is linked to various chronic diseases. Improved heart health. Intermittent fasting may help improve blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and other markers of heart health. Increased longevity. Some studies suggest that intermittent fasting may help increase lifespan and reduce the risk of age-related diseases. Improved brain function. Intermittent fasting may help improve cognitive function and protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. How does intermittent fasting work? When you don't eat for some time, your body is forced to use its internal sources for energy, known as metabolic switching. Initially, your body prefers glycogen in the liver, the stored form of glucose, but we only have a small amount that lasts 2 to 12 hours, depending on your level of activity. We will usually eat again before the stores are depleted. If your glycogen stores do run out, your body will start to burn fat. With help from enzymes known as lipases, triglycerides, small fat molecules, are released by adipose tissue into the bloodstream. They travel to the liver and are further broken down to produce ketone bodies which can be used as an energy source. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that is found in every cell of the body. It plays an important role in many vital processes, including the production of hormones, the digestion of fat, and the formation of cell membranes. Cholesterol is produced by the liver, but it can also be found in certain foods such as meat, eggs, and dairy products. When there is too much cholesterol in the bloodstream, it can build up in the walls of the arteries and form plaques, which can narrow the arteries and increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. There are two main types of cholesterol, LDL, low-density lipoprotein, and HDL, high-density lipoprotein. LDL cholesterol is often referred to as bad cholesterol because it can contribute to the buildup of plaques in the arteries. HDL cholesterol is often referred to as good cholesterol because it helps remove excess cholesterol from the bloodstream and carries it back to the liver for processing. High levels of LDL cholesterol and low levels of HDL cholesterol are often associated with an increased risk of heart disease, while lower levels of LDL cholesterol and higher levels of HDL cholesterol are associated with a lower risk of heart disease. Hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia are the medical terms for high cholesterol levels or imbalances in the lipids or cholesterol blood levels. There are many options to reduce cholesterol levels, from lifestyle changes to medications. How does intermittent fasting affect cholesterol levels? Intermittent fasting affects cholesterol levels due to the change in metabolism from glucose to ketones. When this occurs, the body begins using lipids rather than storing them. Lipids move out of the cells, travel in the bloodstream, and go into the liver to be made into ketones. The overall direction of the lipids changes the type and amount of cholesterol needed to facilitate the transfer. It, in turn, increases the amount of HDL and decreases the amount of LDL. This favorably changes your cholesterol profile and reduces the risk of dyslipidemia, a significant risk factor for cardiovascular disease. 
During fasting, triglycerides break down into fatty acids and glycerol, and those fatty acids are converted to ketone bodies in the liver, providing energy to cells and tissues. Another way that if can affect cholesterol levels is because of weight loss. Due to the time-restricting nature of the diet, people often consume less food overall, reducing energy consumption. Ketones also require more energy to be made, increasing your energy expenditure. There are other situations or medical conditions where if is not recommended. They include, pregnancy, breastfeeding, eating disorders, BMI under 18.5, children under 18. Please consult with your doctor if you are considering following this diet. They will be able to fully investigate whether this diet is right for you or whether there are any other required changes before you start. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching.